G'day guys, Ben here from Solar and Sat, and we're here on a Friday morning where we finished the installation on this big fifth wheeler. We've installed a 3 kVA multi plus inverter charger that we've wired up to surge to its maximum, paired up with a 540 amp hour Sherby battery bank and 1200 watts of solar on the roof. Let's go take a look. What we've got right here is what the boys and I have been calling the multi plus compartment, and that's because there's a big multi plus in the center of it. But aside from the multi plus, we fitted a DC DC charger, a Serbo GX, the shunt in the bottom right corner and a big 1000 amp bus bar. Now this 1000 amp bus bar, what it's let us do is run an individual set of cables from each battery to it. And the idea of that is it lets us take advantage of the full 500 amp discharge rate that the battery bank is capable of. That's why we've actually ran two positives and two negatives up into this multi plus. So the customer can surge to the full 6000 if they'd like to. And when this unit's humming away, just like it is now running the aircon inside, obviously being such a small compartment, it will heat up. So what we've done is we've wired up a temperature sensor via a relay to the servo. And what that'll do is kick this fan on, on this vent we've installed to extract the hot air out of this compartment. All right. What we've obviously got down here is the big battery bank. So we've got 540 amp hour in total. So that's two 270 amp hour Shervy lithium batteries. They've each got a full 250 amp discharge and 250 amp recharge rate. Um, what we've done is we've done individual cables, as I said, to that uh, leaks distribution bus bar. Um, and that'll allow the customer to really take advantage of that maximum discharge rating that these batteries are capable of. Up above that, we've got this 150-100. Now that there was a limited release by Victron that only does 12 and 24 volt, but it brought the cost down a fair bit. Um, and that way you could use one regulator instead of using multiple small regulators like we often do in these larger jobs. We paired that up with 1200 watts of solar on the roof. This customer actually had heaps more room up there than we expected. They could easily put a bunch more solar panels up there. So if they ever wanted any more solar, the beauty of these Victron regulators is you can easily install a second one, daisy chain it up, and they could put another 1200 watts of solar up there if they really wanted to. But this should get them going for now, and uh, we'll see if they end up coming back with some more later down the line. Just a quick reminder that we are national distributors of all Victron Energy and Sherby solar products. So whether you be an end user or you want to buy wholesale for your own business, make sure you check out our website. When it came to a system of this scale, there was really only one choice in our opinion in terms of monitoring it, and that would be the Serbo GX with the Touch 70 display screen by Victron. This here gives you a very, very clear overview in layman's terms about what your system is up to. It all speaks in watts. And uh, the idea of that is when you've got a 40 volt solar array, a 12 volt battery bank, you're using two 40 volt appliances, 12 volt appliances, it can be very difficult to compare the power using amps because the amps will change depending on the voltage it's at. Watts on the other hand, the old saying is a watt is a watt no matter what. So if you're using 500 watts for your aircon like we are right now, and let's just say we were in the sun and the solar was putting in 1,000 watts, we know very clearly that we're obviously putting in twice as much power as the aircon's consuming. Makes it very, very clear and intuitive, even if you aren't really right into all this power stuff, um, to, to compare what you're using versus what you're making. If we flick over this way, we've got our main control screen, we like to call it. This is where you can turn your inverter on and off. You can switch it over to charger only, all that sort of stuff. You can also adjust the AC current limit. So for example, if you were plugged into a 10 amp outlet, um, the customer would turn this down to 10 amps, and that way if they were to use 12 amps at 240 volt, the outlet would give them 10 amps, and their inverter would give them the additional two. It's called the power assist function by Victron. Very, very cool feature. If we touch the screen, we can actually go to the menu se section, and this is where we can see the temperature of everything. So this MultiPlus here, humming away, uh, we had it fully charging up before, and we had it testing all the loads in here. It's obviously gotten fairly warm in there, 42 degrees, so that fan we mentioned earlier would be trying its hardest to obviously bring that temperature back down again. We can also check on each of the individual components, and if there ever were an error or a notification the customer needed to be made aware of, it'll display it all right here, and makes it very easy to diagnose, for example, if they were out in the middle of nowhere and they couldn't quite easily get to um, a highly qualified area, you could just go to any typical auto electrician, and this will really help them diagnose it if they were to have an issue down the line. If you're watching us fit out all these unique vehicles, fifth wheelers, trucks, four wheel drives, all that sort of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe to keep yourself posted. Yeah.